I really fumbled there. Um, <laughs> yeah. All right, how do we no, make this easier? How do we make this easier? What's up, insiders, guys? If you live stream on YouTube or if you're interested in live streaming on YouTube, we have some brand new updates to talk about today. Hello, everybody. This is Creator Insider. I am Barbara and... I am Derek. What do you do, Derek? I'm a product manager at YouTube. I work on live streaming tools that help you go live easier and interact with your fans better. Fun fact, I had roughly Derek's job back in 2015, 2016, mm -hmm. forever ago. So I am <laughs> heavily biased in terms of being super interested in everything that you do. Yep. Yeah. Barbara has been very opinionated and helping mm -hmm. us to just make the roadmap better for you guys. So thank you for her. Earlier this year, we rolled out a new tool to help creators go live on YouTube, and it's part of the Creator Studio Beta. So it was an update to all of the tools that I worked on way, way, way back when. And it is, in my opinion, so much crisper, so much easier to use. But Derek is here to talk about how we have updated that, because we initially rolled it out into beta, and you were peeling off the Band-Aid. Yes, that's right. In we a are... nice way, though. <laughs> we are uh, removing the beta label. So since we launched in sometime around February and March, we've gotten so much feedback and thank you all for that. And we've able, we were able to incorporate a lot of the feedback into this new product, which is uh, what I'm here to tell you about today. We've got five new things that we are rolling out into yeah. our new live control room. So let's break it down. You guys know, side note, uh, I hear that list videos do really well in search and discovery. So hopefully this will be a listicle video and we can like, we can rank really highly and get a lot of subscribers and watch time. You guys ready for number one? <laughs> number one. <laughs> number one. All right. So number one is a feature that like I really like. So it's called live highlights. And what it does is allow you as a creator to hit a button and actually just start uh, creating a quick highlight that takes a snippet of your live stream. You can publish it as a public video on your channel, or you can save it for later and edit it from the uh, studio editor. Yeah, and so uh, the thing that you did not mention is, this is a way for you to quickly make highlights while you are streaming. So if you're in the middle of doing a stream and your audience was like, yo, that was awesome. We need to like clip that, we need to keep that, save it for later. You can just quickly go into your live dashboard and just like click, click, click and that just makes a whole new video available up on your channel. The question I have for you is, so right now this tool is only available to creators and while you're streaming, you're That's doing it. a million things all at once. You're mm -hmm. trying to make engaging content, you're paying attention to chat, all the rest of this. Yeah. Um, will we have a way for, we'll say, moderators or viewers to be able to, to make these types of like quick highlights of your content while you're live. So we've gotten this feedback from a number of you as well and we think that we should definitely do everything that we can to enable you guys to do your best at engaging your audience and focusing on the creation of the content. So yes, we are exploring ways for your key members of your, uh, of your community like moderators and editors to help create these highlights as they come. Uh, the other aspect of creating highlights is that oftentimes you just want to do uh, do the entire stream end to end and then make these highlights afterwards and we're working yeah. on tools that make it easier for you to identify these moments as well after your stream is over number one was live highlights mm -hmm. number two number two so this is something that kind of jargony we're calling it a uh, viewer activity widget but basically what it is is it allows you to get more insight in real time of how your viewers are participating in your live stream what we're starting with is surfacing the um, the participation things that have to do with super chats, super stickers, and uh, the monetary support that your viewers are showing. But we're very much looking forward to bubbling up activity outside of money as well. Yeah, so real-time feed of when these events are happening on your stream. What I would love for things is that, you know, if you're getting new subscribers, when you hit like a new subscriber milestone, or when you hit, you know, 100 likes, a million likes on a stream, something like that, you get these little alerts. Because yes. um, then when, as a streamer, that's just other ways you can call out and engage more with your audience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is just the start right now. Yep, absolutely. I think that there's plenty more that uh, your community members are doing to make the experience more fun, lively, and engaging for everyone. So it's not limited to just Super Chat, and I love Super Chats, but- <laughs> Hashtag not biased. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there's, there's more to come on that. 
That was number two. Number three. Number three. So number three is something that is like all of these things going to be an ongoing project that we improve over time but it's uh, the stream health widget and what it does is give you a um, a basic overview of how your ingestion is doing your video quality and general stream health metrics so that you can understand that like uh, your viewers are getting a good experience and that your video bits are getting through number four number four custom name stream keys so not all of you might be familiar with this it's kind of a power user feature for kind large of, event creators. Not even kind of, like definitely a power yeah, user feature yeah. on YouTube. So if you are familiar with these, you might be really excited that we're bringing them back. So we're happy to do that. And if you're not familiar with them, we'll actually put a link below in uh, for, for the help center and you can learn about them there. Number five. Okay, so number five is gonna be a managed uh, list. So the managed list essentially lets you to see all of your scheduled upcoming as well as currently live streams all in one place. And so you're just updating the UI on that because it was a little, a little clunky yeah. before, but now it's much more, Try to make uh, it pretty. much more similar to how you manage your video list mm -hmm. in Creator Studio Beta. That's right. What I will leave this video saying is, uh, so you guys know if you've been watching my videos, um, I have a personal live gaming channel that I've been running for the past four years. Uh, I have used all all of the ways to stream on YouTube and the new live control room is really where it's at. It is much more cleaned up, much easier for you to get started and manage your stream. So highly recommend for you to go check it out. I think it's youtube.com slash live streaming. Right. And if you are not live streaming on YouTube today, we might be a little biased, but <laughs> you should definitely, definitely cool. try it out. It is a great way for you to engage with the community in real time. It's just a different way for you to try to make con content on YouTube. If you dug this video, what should they do, Derek? Like, comment, subscribe. Yes! Any questions that you have for Derek, he will be there reading all of the comments, so please drop them down below. And to wrap things up, we are Creator Insider, your informal source for behind the scenes, sneak peeks and information straight from the tech teams. We're the people building all of the tools for you. So if you want to get more information like this, hit that subscribe button and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye. I know. Dang, I definitely looked at the the thing a few times instead of the.